So I'm back out at Ewing Park today uh, to try to locate a few more black trumpet mushrooms. It's actually a really busy day at the park today. There's some birthday parties and stuff going on. Luckily for me, most people don't dare venture out into the woods. <laughs> uh, maybe they're smarter than me. I'm just trying to locate the place ooh, that I found them last time. Check out the size of these rustlers. Bigger than my palm. Spotted these guys a few times. Not sure what they are. They're slimy. They're all over the place. Found some really nice turkey tail on my way in. Saw this from a little ways away. Found a bunch of coral mushrooms. Um, these are not the edible kind that I'm aware of. They don't have little crowns at their tips. These little guys. Wow. Trying to beat the rain that's coming. It's on its way. And I have not come across my trumpet spot yet, but I just found my old chicken of the woods tree. Here's my chicken of the woods tree. But I also just saw these. And I wanted to check them out. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I just saw something else. So I don't know if these are. No. See, I thought they were oysters. But they're not because of the gills, not really gills, but that is not right for an oyster, even though it looks an awful lot like one. This thing caught my eye. What is this? Probably a milk cap. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing anyway. Mm. Yeah. So that is the hole where I found my one and only chicken of the woods. This tree is massive. But none since then. I mean as Hades. Yes you do. So last time I was out here I told you guys I used to know what these are and I couldn't remember. They're called jelly babies. And there's all kinds. And here's some more of those black things. I think I just found the spot and the raindrops are falling through the trees. <laughs> um, I haven't found any yet, but I think I found the spot and I just found a mushroom that I've never seen before. They're like a lilac color, purple. Very, very dainty. Here it is. You know, after I did the video last time, when I was editing, I could look back over the video while I was editing and see a bunch of mushrooms I didn't see while I was sitting right here. But it's good to know that they're still flushing here. Found a couple dung beetles doing their dung beetle thing. Let's see if we can get them guys on camera. See that little black butt right there? <laughs> and this ball is poop. <laughs> there we go. It's raining now. I just missed that one. You see it right there? I was standing right over it. So after you think you've found everything. You need to get down on 
their level and look around. You see any that I've missed? Let me know in the comments. I'm not seeing anything. I did leave a bunch of them. A bunch of the smaller ones that I'm not sure if they've gotten a chance to release their spores yet. I left those to ensure that there'll be more year after year after year. Or even next week if I decide to come back then. They go pretty fast and then they just kind of melt away. This has got to be related to morels somehow. See anything under there that I can see? Look here. I love finding purple mushrooms. Even if they're not edible or any of that stuff. They're just so pretty. So I don't really know where this love of exploring comes from. I've had a love for exploring way before I knew anything about mushrooms. And uh, exploring and foraging, mushroom hunting, is one of the very few things I am willing to get dirty, wet, sweaty, or cold for voluntarily anything else I'm, I just I can't but if you want to take me to the woods or if I have time to go into the woods I don't care what the conditions are I'm gonna go do it Anytime I see bright yellow or bright red, I always check. Even if I'm pretty sure that they're not. I always check to see if they're chanterelles. Um, I don't think I've ever ventured this far back. You guys, if this is what I think it is, I might scream. Maybe not on camera, but off camera. <gasps> is it? I think it is. <sighs> Look at it, guys. It's an indigo milk cap. Oh my gosh. Not believe. Look at this, you guys. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. I see people finding those all the time, and I just, I, I, I have never found one. Oh my gosh, I've lost his knife. How did I lose his knife? No idea where I set it down. And that's his favorite knife and I promised him I wouldn't. And now I feel so terrible. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where I would have left it. I found it, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Look at these again. Now that I know I found his knife, you can go back to enjoying myself again. Stepping right over mushrooms and don't even realize it. Look at this one. Can you see this big old guy? Whoops. 
believe these are um, bacterious. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's a lacterious for sure. But I don't know. The only ones I know that are safe to eat are these and certain orange colored ones. So all these white ones that I'm seeing, along with all these yellow, you see them, the yellow popping up everywhere. I don't know if they're edible. This guy, probably another milk cap, but I don't know. Oh. Yeah, some milk cat. Bacteria species. So pretty out here. see something orange. I also see big white mushrooms. Okay, so something bright orange here. Not a chanterelle. But pretty nonetheless. I believe this guy is part of the Rustler family, or the Brittlegill family. Um, it may be a charcoal burner, but it also scaly, kind of like the green quilted. Let me sound an all professional. But supposedly, the Rustler is the only mushroom that snaps like chalk. Oh probably would have had it not been eaten by bugs and uh, I I know my fingernails are dirty but guys I'm digging out in the woods and the brittle gills are supposed to just fall apart I guess it kind of is so maybe it's not a charcoal burner I'm not sure I don't know all right before I forget where I left all my things another guy. I haven't seen any bolites. <laughs> Look at those blue mushrooms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so exciting. I think these look cool. This one's a little beat up, but they're pretty good size. Some leaves in there. You see what I'm spotting? Ooh. That was almost my face. Mm. Just hold a look along the shore on moss. Let's see. Ridges. I don't think it's a chanterelle. I've been having some issues with the chanterelles that I've been finding. They don't have every single characteristic. So I can't confirm I lost my bag that they're chanterelles. So I'm not going to eat them. They're supposed to have a fruity flavor. Not flavor. Smell. Aroma. Um, like apricots, sweet and fruity, and they don't. Um, but I've had people tell me that they are chanterelles. But I'm just not going to eat something that I feel like I can't confirm for myself through my own research. Okay. This looks like it may be a true chanterelle in the right place, right time of year. Ugh. Mosquitoes are eating me alive. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's got false gills. 
looks more like veins. They are not in a uniform pattern. They're decurrent, meaning they go down the stem. So you pretty uniform color. So let's check the meat inside. Okay. Cut it open, the meat looks to be white. And it's supposed to pull apart like string cheese, but because there's only two here, I'm not gonna pull it apart yet. If I find, if I find more, I will. But I think we have a true chanterelle. Check out this guy. It's a moth. Wow. Oh yeah. It's got a hole in his chest. I don't know if you can see it. Down by the creek. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that was the first time um, finding chanterelles at this location. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to add that to my notes that they're around here. Also, oh, the yellow flies are out now. Mm. Bugs are loving the fact that I ran out of bug spray. I must have walked past this like three times. Oh man, it's old. But look at the color. That's a bolete. And that color is amazing. I wonder if this is a wine cap. Color. Jeez, it's just fantastic. Wow. In case I've never told you guys about this, if you ever get lost in the woods and you have no water, you need something to drink, these vines that you see growing all over the place, if you have something to cut them open with, Pure water comes out of here. Pure water. Filtered, pure, drinkable water. I crossed over the stream to see if there was anything on the other side and I didn't find anything. And I just crossed back, not expecting to find anything, and look what I just found. It's a pretty good size there. A little dirty. There is zero doubt that this is a chanterelle. This just proves I know nothing, nothing about chanterelles. They keep popping up on me in places I would never expect. Well guys, I think I'm about out of juice. Thirsty? actually turned out to be a really really awesome forage I mean I found some of the best mushrooms that you could find it doesn't get any better than what I've got right here and I've got a dehydrator now so they're not gonna go to waste oh, man. it's a good day Here's one I'm not familiar with. So it look, just looks like a brown mushroom with a brown stem, but it's very white underneath. 
and the gills look like they are somewhat decurrent. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. some more coral. Again, I don't know enough about these to know which ones are edible and which ones are not. I just know they're really cool. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on another mushroom forage or exploration video. I really, really enjoy doing these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. If you do, make sure you subscribe below because it's getting in, into the time of year where there's going to be a lot more because a lot more mushrooms are going to be popping up soon. Also, if you don't mind hitting the like button, it really helps me out. And stay tuned, like I said lots more mushrooms coming up if you're not into the mushrooms you still stick around i have all kinds of hobbies and i do all kinds of videos so yeah thanks for hanging out i'll see you next time bye